I've picked up this little uh, pinhole camera uh, set from a charity shop. Uh, apparently this is a fun way of getting young people involved in photography. Uh, it takes a 35mm film, not supplied, uh, and it, it comes as a kit. For ease of instruction really, I've, I've attempted to put a couple of bits of the kit together. So I've put these catches on and the viewfinder on the main body. Apart from that I haven't done anything to it so far. And just for fun I'm not going to bother looking at the instructions. Right, the other bits that come with it are uh, these knobs, uh, this thing, whatever it is, uh, a uh, piece of silver foil and some sticky tape. Okay, clear a bit of space to see how, how long it takes me to make it. This is the main body of the camera. And as you can see, it's simply a preformed piece of plastic with, of course, my addition of the viewfinder. The shutter mechanism, such as it is, is already built in. And it's this simple spring, which could be controlled by the speed of which you flick the finger. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but when it returns up there, it doesn't quite uh, cover the hole. So you're going to have to make sure that this is, lever is back at the top. The second part of the camera is the front of the pinhole. This is just the cover. Uh, you put a piece of silver foil through here, which is supplied, and uh, it's stuck in place with a little sticky tab, also supplied, and this simply fits on here. So I've built the front of the camera. Turning it over, there's another preformed insert that quite clearly fits in the four holes there. So that should just slot in. And it does, nice. The film, not supplied, goes on this side. Uh, so this must be the rewind knob to wind the film back into the canister. And this must be the take up reel on this side. Now this is about 12 millimeters across, which means that one revolution of this is about 36 uh, millimeters. So that will allow uh, just enough uh, space to leave a, a little gap between the two uh, consecutive frames of the picture. As I said, I've put the flaps on the back. With these two cutouts, that must mean the top. I'll put that together. Oops, done that wrong. Hang on. else you'd want to look out for. And again you can see that this actually doesn't completely go back. As this has never been used that's a little bit disappointing. I'm usually quite enthusiastic about bits of kit because I take the view that it doesn't matter how simple they are if they get people involved in photography that's got to be a good thing. This however I think would destroy any interest that a child or a young person may have in photography. I, if I pay good money for this and they're not expensive but you do have to pay about £25 for them I would be incredibly disappointed. There's absolutely no skill required in building it and once you've built it uh, I think you've got something which is
probably not going to work very well if it works at all. Uh, the instructions, which I have gone back and read, uh, seems to indicate I've built it the right way, uh, but they're very poor on actually what you're going to do with this. Basically, your instructions are put it on a firm surface, press that down, wait, release. Although in this case, make sure it's up the top. I think it's a poor show. I think it's uh, just basically taking advantage of people. That's a shame because it should be a great introduction to photography and frankly it's not. So overall I am very disappointed.